Apple just updated their MacBook Pro line with M3 chips, but who should upgrade and which one to buy? <laughs> there are just too many options and configurations. Easy answer for those who are using M1, M2 series machines. If you have already M1 or M2 series MacBook, you should be fine for another year or few, so good to you. You don't need to make those hard choices in the purchase configuration screens. I have M1 Pro, MacBook Pro and I am running into some bottlenecks with it, but more on my choices later. If you are still on Intel MacBook, what are you waiting for? You should upgrade as soon as you will finish watching this video. I hope I convinced you to upgrade, so which one to buy? 14 versus 16 inch size is very subjective choice. You may say that 14 is more compact for traveling. I would argue that it doesn't make big difference in backpack, but bigger screen is better when you are working in your travel destination. So just pick your side. If you are on tight budget, then 14 inch M3 MacBook Pro is machine for you. It is kind of silly that Apple offers 8 gigabyte model, but SSD drives are fast, unified memory will do the trick and you will survive with basic development tasks. If you can afford RAM upgrade, get it, or plan to upgrade this machine in a few years. If you choose 8 gigabyte of RAM, you don't have money to spend it on SSD, so 512 SSD will be fine, it will be enough, and you can always buy external SSD drive. I don't know who will buy that 8 gigabyte, one terabyte machine, that, that, that one looks silly. <laughs> The cheapest M3 MacBook Pro is a bit more expensive than 15 inch M2 MacBook Air and you are getting better processor, better screen, speakers, extra ports, but the same crappy web camera. So I don't know who will buy that 15 inch M2 Air, no. Only one external display support in base M models sucks big time and it is deal breaker for me. I have had that limitation in my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro, never again. So most of the developers should go with M3 Pro machine. You will get two external display support, performance boost for the compiler and 18 gigabytes of RAM in base model. I usually go with base model, RAM and SSD upgrade prices are crazy if you are buying that from Apple and you are losing most of that money if you are planning to resell that machine in second hand market a few years later. My approach is to buy a machine I need today. Uh, I do not care about future proofing for five years ahead because I don't know, if I will start to work on much more demanding projects. I will likely have budget to upgrade. My M1 Pro holds great and as an iOS developer I will buy the M3 Pro base model again this year. But I am not only a developer, I am content creator as well and that's where M3 Max comes in. If you are a game or virtual reality developer or spending most of your time in Blender or Adobe After Effects or editing videos, then M3 Max is machine for you. For rest of the developers, the M3 Max will be waste of money. So am I upgrading and to which one? <laughs> most of the Apple performance charts doesn't make much sense, but we can find that M3 Pro is a bit faster than M1 Pro which I have, but I have to say that my MacBook Pro is mostly waiting on me while I'm thinking about solutions or googling to find solutions for my problems, so compiling speed is not a biggest blocker for me. As a creator, I would like to have a bit more GPU performance, which could help me to edit and render my videos faster to be ready on day one with news. <laughs> also, M3 Max could be better for live streams as well. So, if content creation would be my job and pay the bills, I would upgrade this year. But about 90% of my revenue is generating by programming and for that task M1 Pro is great machine. So, I'm sticking with it for another year. Also, I have a gaming PC which handles streaming just fine, so one more reason to do not waste money on upgrade which I don't need yet. But which MacBook Pro I would buy if my M1 Pro explodes tomorrow? So I would get the M3 Max base model, which will be good for the next two plus years for programming. I'm getting a bit more RAM and that will help me to create my silly YouTube videos as well. If you are curious to see how far you can get with just 8 gigabytes of RAM in M series machines, check Alex's video where he is pushing those machines to the limit. I will link his video in description right below like and subscribe buttons. See you.